God lives and works today. But perhaps you don't feel that way at the moment. Do the same problems keep cropping up? The same sins even though you've given your life to Jesus Christ? Today's meditation by Vasilea Schlink is an encouraging word about the way to victory. We are redeemed. However, our old nature has so completely infected us that our redemption does not take place all at once. Rather, we are being transformed into the image of Jesus from glory unto glory. It is a growth process. The whole Bible speaks of the growth of the spiritual man. Consider a man who has just been released from an agonizing term as a prisoner of war which has been like hell for him. Imagine what a wonderful experience his release must be. The hellish imprisonment with all its horrors lies behind him. He is free, really free. But as soon as he gets accustomed to his new freedom and the first excitement has died down, he notices that he still has to bear the consequences of his imprisonment for example, rheumatism or many other ailments. He is sick, and of course these illnesses impair his freedom. Perhaps weeks and months of serious medical treatment may have to follow, but he is still free, and he now has the opportunity to go to the right doctor and ask for the right medicine and receive the doctor's advice, which he could not do while he was in prison. Now he can be helped, and his health will improve gradually. This same procedure applies to our spiritual life. The sacrifice of Jesus has paid the complete price for our redemption. We have been released from the imprisonment of sin and death, and have been welcomed into the kingdom of the Son of God. However, the time we spend in bondage to Satan still leaves its evil traces in us. Our blood has been completely infected by sin, and now we have to be healed bit by bit. This will happen as we daily praise His redeeming blood, believing in faith that His victory on Calvary has made us free. Your blood, O oh Lord, was shed for me, accept my praise eternally. I praise Your blood that You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.